Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm really glad that you could join me once again. Now, when I first started this channel back in 2020, my purpose was not only to entertain, but also to share how I tried to find the beauty in every day so that you could live a more relaxed and happy life. It was at the beginning of the lockdown, we were going through COVID, and I just felt that it was the right time for me to come into the world and share how I was coping with that and so that I could help others too. Now that is still very much my focus for this channel, to not only entertain but also to be a place of relaxation and seeing the beauty in the everyday. I'm very pleased to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by Endel. Now, Endel is an environment-based app that takes everything we know about sound and combines it with cutting-edge technology. The result is real-time, personalized soundscapes that are designed to help you relax, focus, and sleep. Now, let me tell you why I love the app so much and the reason why I've been using it. Now, as I just mentioned, the app is designed to help you relax, focus, and sleep. And what you can do when you first get the app is you can select what you want to work on. For me, I really want to work on my focus. Now, I know that I come here every week and kind of give this impression that I'm a very organized person who is really wonderful at getting my life in order. But to be honest, I do struggle with procrastination. In fact, when I was logging into the app a few weeks ago, it said, do you struggle with procrastination? And one of the cho you have to answer multiple choice answers. And it says, you can either choose no, I don't, yes a little bit, or procrastination is my middle name. And I selected that procrastination is my middle name because it's true. For some reason, when I know that I've got a lot to do in the day, my intention is to wake up early, get it all done. But because the task seems like a mountain ahead of me, I kind of do everything to not get on with the task. So I really wanted to use Endel to help me with that problem. And I have to tell you that I've been using the app and it is amazing, truly. They have this special clock that you can use and it is a 25 minute timer. And what you do is you set it for 25 minutes, you focus on your task, and then at the end of the timer it stops and you have a five minute break. And I can tell you that this has been life changing. It just really helps you to see that you don't need to spend hours and hours doing something, break it up into 25 minute segments and that is a much better way of doing things. So whether you need help relaxing, finding more focus, or just getting better sleep, I really think Endel is a fantastic app that will really help you out. And I'm delighted to let you know the first 100 people to download Endel by clicking the link below will get a free week of audio experiences. So yes, head to the description box. The link is there for you to check out the app. And I, as I've said, I really do love this app. This is the wonderful thing about technology nowadays. We have so many wonderful things to help aid us in our lives. And that is what I'm all about. And I just really, really do love this one. So I thought that I would quickly share with you a little bit of the app. You can check out different scenarios. So if you're looking to sleep better, get on with your chores, chill, you can select something specifically for you. Now, if you have ADHD, tinnitus or sleep disorders, there's something here for everyone to really help you to focus, relax and just get things done. You may remember that in one of my previous videos about two weeks ago, I shared that I was getting a new sideboard for the wall here and I'm happy to say that it was delivered yesterday. It's exactly what I was expecting. It's quite tall and quite robust thickness. And I just think that it is a very, very handsome piece to go here. It kind of makes a statement. Now, even though I really love the bureau that was here, 
it was quite limited because you wouldn't you weren't able to put a lamp on it the surface the depth of the actual desk was quite uh, shallow so you couldn't really put a lot of stuff on it and because you needed to keep opening the cupboards as well you weren't able to put anything very tall on it even like a vase of flowers so I just thought that when you walked into this part of the house it would be nice to have something big with a lamp on and oh, sadly the mirror that I told you about that I was going to get from Facebook marketplace someone else beat me to it so I've lost out on that which I found out yesterday and I'm really gutted about it because it was so perfect and a great price, so unique. I'm really gonna to struggle to find something else like that, but we have to be patient and hopefully I will find something. Now, what I'm thinking about doing with this, I saw something on Pinterest last night. Don't you just love Pinterest? It's one of the most amazing apps. And it was similar to this cabinet and what someone had did, done is they'd made a home bar. And I think that is a really fantastic idea. So what they'd done is they'd got a little tray, well, quite a big tray on top of the, uh, the sideboard here and they'd filled it with liqueurs and whiskies and spirits and little tins of sparkling water. And then inside the cabinet, they'd got all of their glassware. So I just thought, wow, what a great idea. And it would work perfectly in this room. All of my glassware, which is so beautiful, is in the kitchen, in the cupboards. And even though it is organized really well, it's kind of lost in there. And I'd much rather see it in here so that when I have friends over and we want to have a cocktail, I can just open out this cabinet and we've got all the glassware and then we can make a drink on top of here. So I thought that that would be a perfect use for this cabinet. So I'm really delighted that I bought it. Now, I think that although this lamp is on here at the minute, this is just a temporary thing because if I want to have a tray with bar things on, I would probably need instead two lamps, tall ones, tall and thin lamps. And then hopefully we'll find a mirror for the wall. Now, what I'm also thinking about doing, this is not an antique and it's got a little bit of damage here. And I'm just wondering whether I should paint this. Now, I know that a lot of people are probably screaming at the TV right now when I say that, but uh, I'm not gonna make that decision too hastily. I'm gonna think about it properly and just sit with this piece for a few weeks before I decide. But I have seen some beautiful painted pieces of furniture in classic settings and a really beautiful Swedish look, like a black, a matte black, and then kind of just distressing it so that you see some of the brown underneath, I think would look quite nice. I will put a little picture here that I found as a reference. So yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with this new piece of furniture. I think it's gonna be really a great addition to this room, but let me know what you think. Now I want to share with you possibly the best cookie recipe I've ever tried. I've posted the recipe in the description box for you. To begin, I'm adding butter, dark brown sugar and granulated sugar to the mixing bowl, then mixing together until creamy. Then I'm adding in two eggs and beating again until combined. Next I'm adding in salt and some baking soda and then I will slowly add the flour a little at a time.
Once everything is combined, I'll add a mountain of extra dark chocolate chips. You only need a teaspoon sized amount of dough as they really spread when they bake. This batch will make 30 cookies. Well, I have to say that I'm very happy with the way the cookies have turned out. They're exactly like the photographs and I have tasted one. They're incredibly delicious. They don't look so beautiful but sometimes it's the inner beauty that counts and these are definitely that. They taste incredibly delicious. So simple and I've got about 30 cookies there. So I can take a few, give some away to friends, give some to the neighbors and maybe even store some in the freezer until I'm ready to whip them out again. But I thought now that I would just, I bought some flowers from the supermarket that you can see there and I'm just gonna quickly arrange them into the vase and I'm gonna have a pot of tea and I'm gonna enjoy one of my cookies. It's late afternoon, it's autumn, so it's getting dark and I've had a busy day, so I'm just in the mood to have a cookie, a bit of tea and just relax. And this is what I mean about enjoying the small pleasures of life. This is all very simple things, supermarket flowers, these beautiful blooms cost me about £10. I'm going to arrange them here, sit down with a cup of tea. What could be better and what is more simple than that? Proof that life is all about the small moments of joy and seeing the beauty in the everyday. The simple ritual of doing the flowers for my home is something that has always brought me so much joy. I don't know what it is. Perhaps it's the knowing that such beauty can be attained with little cost and ease. In a world which parades unobtainable luxury, this is something that almost all of us can enjoy. A reminder that the very best things in life often come from nature. Cutting each stem, removing the leaves and then finding a place in my vase makes me happy. I don't mind that I'm not an expert florist. The trial and error is so much part of what makes this such a lovely way to potter around the house and enjoy living. Flowers say so much. I love the way as human beings we pick them and give them to those we love. We want to give the gift of beauty from nature, such a simple yet magnificent thing. Perhaps I'm being overly romantic, but I thought that I would share my thoughts with you all. wonderful to be here in the afternoon with some beautiful tea and my cookies. Now I'm using my Nicholas Fairford Earl Grey Blue Flower Tea. This is my absolute favourite for the afternoon. Uh, it's obviously an Earl Grey and the wonderful thing about it is that it's actually got blue flower petals in there. So it's a really beautiful tea and the wonderful thing is the fragrance, which is just, Earl Grey brings back so many wonderful memories for me. So I love to drink this in the afternoon. It's very refreshing. 
Also, I just want to say thank you to everybody who bought the Christmas tea after I mentioned it in the last video. It's almost sold out, so I think it was wise for me to say to buy it early. We will be restocking it next week, so don't worry if you haven't bought it yet. It's coming back very soon. We've got plenty in stock coming, so you will be able to get your hands on the tea. So yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna taste one of my cookies. Let's go for this one. Just look how big they are. They're huge. But the good thing is, is that they're not thick. So you don't feel too guilty if you're having a, a, big, a big cookie. And they break off lovely. Crunchy and chewy, chocolatey, perfect cookie. Honestly, you've got to try these. They are simply incredible. Mm. Mm. And with a sip of tea, it melts all the chocolate. The flavours are just beautiful. I think this has to be my new favourite cookie. Oh! I've decided to do a little makeover in my guest bedroom. Of all the rooms in the house, this is the one that has received my least attention. I have two of these half-moon tables that I painted a few years ago. I'm giving them a little makeover to get me in the mood to renovate the rest of the room. This is just a sneak peek and I'll reveal all in the coming months. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed this week's episode. I look forward to seeing you next time, but until then, take care. Bye-bye.